The team is on its way. They'll escort the Ark to the Nexus. I'm sure they'll be happy to see you, Captain Hager. It's a day I wasn't certain would ever come. Now that it has, what will you do? Technically, I'm next in line to be our Pathfinder, though I never started the training. Reiko will be difficult to replace. It's alright. You sound like... You sound like you're at the brink of death anyway, so... You're probably gonna be a Pathfinder for like two years or something. You can do it. Don't worry. Speaking from my own experience, Captain, just take it one step at a time. You're up to this. I hope to justify your confidence. What matters most is that the Salarian people are no longer at the mercy of the Ket. For this, we are eternally grateful. Just make sure my scouts make it safely to Nexus. Of course. Be well, Ryder. Must have been a tough call leaving Reka behind. But I'm glad you did. My scouts are alive because of it. Yeah. yeah. The Salarians and were left we, behind. What would we, what Focus would we do without your scouts? Right. You Drake. kicked the Archon's tail today. You took the Ark right out from under him and got Meridian's location. So, enjoy this one. Your father would have been proud. I sure hope so. It's been tough trying to fill his shoes. I hope I'm finally starting to earn it. Though slapping the Archon in the face like this will only make him more dangerous. Or perhaps reckless. Your father liked putting others off balance. He said the worthy would rise above it, and learn to face adversity, ably. And the unworthy? Would crumble. I'll leave you to your thoughts. With reference, Archon, this fascination with Meridian cannot continue. It's the key to our future, Primus. The human knows nothing of its true power. Even we don't fully understand it. Our orders are to exalt this cluster, not study the remnant. Questions are being asked about your judgment. Questions that come from the highest levels. The answers will be clear soon enough. With Meridian, we can transform every world in this cluster to a wasteland. Either the subjects submit to exaltation, or we will use it to annihilate them. This Pathfinder has opened the door. Now we must be the first to cross the threshold. We must seize Meridian before it does. Like all lesser creatures, it mistakes a battle for the war. It doesn't know its weakness. Or its potential. The Archon saw my memory flashes? He got that from my implant? His device went deep. Our connections were wide open when Sam... killed you. Well, I can't let this distract me. He'll know how much we need Meridian. We have to warn the Nexus. We have to move. I need a break. Do you need a break? Let's go for a break. Okay. Have a break. Have a Care for break. some tea, Ryder? I'd love a cup. It's a cultivar originating in Sumatra. My own personal stash. Once I run out, that'll be it for Earth Tea. I keep having these thoughts. I'm never gonna taste this again. I'm never gonna see that again. Yeah, but you know, regret is po it's pointless, you know? We're in a new galaxy. There are many new things to enjoy. I don't know? wanna seem harsh, but there's really no take backsies with this one. I know I can't do anything about it, which is why I wish my brain would behave itself. The universe is like a giant tapestry. I love following its threads, but it distracts me from the whole picture. My family was right there, but I was too occupied by the abstract to appreciate them. 
You're here because of family, though. From everything you've told me, you're here because of your family. Your love of science, doesn't that come from them? Aren't you with them every time you chase down a new discovery? Ryder, that's beautiful. My mother made the implant in my head, and my father created the AI that uses it. I haven't lost them either. Thank you, Ryder. Ryder, might I borrow your research room access? What for? There's a small something I need to take care of. I might need your help, if you could. Sure, Callum. It's only right. I'll help if I can. Suvi, could you take the helm for a little while? I mostly need your authorization to add to the database. Okay. Is that our drive core? The full blueprint. Only a few are in the system. I had them all by memory. So I drew them out. Every line, all the specs. Gil will be needing them. I won't. This still bothers you. You're still not comfortable with Gil being in charge of your Tempest, are you? Call it more memories. Of the time that they were going to scrap the whole project. Some engineering consultant kept insisting the ship would never fly right. He used a lot of Gil's arguments. I think that's why this hurts. The others died thinking we won, that their legacy was safe, and... I failed them. But you made us care. You showed us the Tempest through your eyes. Why she matters. Even Gil sees it now. We forget all our technology didn't just appear. Someone invented it. Someone cared. And in I the know. end, someone new always takes up the banner and pushes forward. I am... Um, I need the tech officer's sign off on these schematics. Any thoughts on how to do this? Don't worry, I'll call him for you. Gil, got a minute? I need you in the research room. Be right there. Should just take a couple of minutes. Should be right here. I thought we settled this. What's going yep. on? Just face I through the door. The Tempest schematics for you. It'll be easier with them on hand. What? Seeing her drawn out down to the basics, she's kind of beautiful. Oh, right. You never saw. Yeah. Look at the arc here. That's artistry. And there. We might have a problem. I was running some numbers, mass balances and such. The Tempest is carrying about 70 kilos of extra mass. I think something's aboard that doesn't belong. Could this really be dangerous? Is it a problem that we're carrying extra mass? Not mechanically, but, but something heavy and unexplained? That's not good. Our internal sensors aren't getting anything, but they're not as powerful as a Pathfinder's scanner. Can you take a look? Will do. All right, I'll look around the ship and see what I can find. Hey, are you okay? I shudder to think what the Archon meant to do with you. And I hated watching you die like that. I think of myself as daring and death-defying, but you? Well, you know me, I'm very competitive. You are daring. I had to up my game. Well, you win. <laughs> Jackass. Just don't get yourself exalted, okay? That asshole means to catify us all. Can't let that happen. But he's close. He's almost figured out Krogan. It's the scariest thing. Ugh. Let's talk about something else, okay? Okay. Thanks Goodbye. for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Hey, Pathfinder. Still passing that mess with Varan and Khaled. I made sure the Nexus data will be changed. Kesh is none too happy, but she can blame me. The important bit is you. I want you to know I understand your decision, and Varan does as well. Okay, let's, let's drop it and move on. Let's not revisit that, alright? Eyes on the future. Agreed in every way. I'm already making plans. I've arranged a thing, on EOS, for everyone. It's time I gave back, not just go from crisis to crisis. Sam has the nav points. Dress light. You realize that even if I do find it, it's going to cost you. And you know I'm always true to my word, so just get it done. 
I'm hearing the cat activities down. I bet the Archon's still nursing his wounds. That means he can be beaten. The cat can be beaten. People are waking up to that. Didn't sound like you were discussing cat over comms when I walked in, though. Wasn't. I have a friend keeping a lookout for a lamp. One brought from home, but stolen in the revolt. A lamp. That's so... sentimental. I didn't think you were so sentimental. I'm not the only one. Suvi has her father's antique instruments, Cora her Asari prayer book, and Liam has... the junk that Liam collects. These things are important. They remind us where we came from. Sure, I feel the same. I know what you mean. I never want to forget what I left behind. Even as we look forward to the future. Yes. So what's so special about this lamp? It's awful. It's got a butt naked Asari for the stand and she's holding a moon. One of your prized possessions is a really ugly lamp. The foreman at my first job had this Not lamp. ugly about an Asari butt. I'd focus That's what on I always so say. See me upset. Now I keep it so I remember where I started. Most of my life was doing stuff to survive, taking shit from assholes, or being one. Taking the shit from assholes. I don't assholes. have to do that anymore. I can start over. Wow. Something honest. You had to take shit from assholes? Were you, like, laying down and they were squ squatting over you, or... How did that work? <clears throat> Let's just move on. Honest work. Vetra, you'd be an awful farmer. Yeah, you don't know that. Point is, I could be anything. For a while, I didn't care that I'd lost the lamp. Everything was a mess and it just didn't matter. But we've made progress, Ryder. Small things matter again. People are daring to dream. You know, I think I like this side of you. It's nice seeing you like this. I know. I like being able to let go and do something for myself for once. Let's hope this is just the start, huh? Got it. Suvi, that extra mass is behind the storage room bulkhead. Behind it? It looks like a construction mech welded right into the hull. Scanning the parts has activated an audio log. I think I know what that's about, Ryder. Come up to the bridge. <clears throat> Liam's idea about watching vids together. Movie night? He delayed again, out of respect for Reka. Mm, good. From what I've seen, your vids are flat. They're only seen and heard. Angara vids use uh, tiny electrodermal signals. You feel it through your skin. I spoke to Gil. We have time to rig up a system to mimic it. If we can acquire the right components. So it's like VR without the headset? Sounds exciting. That sounds amazing. Let's do it. The components we need should be sold on IR. Hmm. Let's be vigilant. Got a minute? I could use a favor. Sure. Sure. What do you need? I kept thinking about Sarissa and my not being a pathfinder. And the thinking turned into a project on EOS. Can you help me finish it? What kind of project? I'll put the nav points in the helm. Come along and I'll show you. Move your arm again. Readings won't change, Doc. Your prosthetics are sinking properly. Your neuropathy-induced pain levels are... consistent. Hey, I'm used to it. It's okay. No, it's not okay. You keep fighting smart. You hear me? You don't have much left in terms of organ redundancies. <clears throat> nah, it's fine. I don't mind. He is okay, right? Everything okay? This looks like... a lot. It is a lot. Just nothing he didn't already know about. What do you mean? 
He's fine, just old and missing too many parts. And too stubborn for his own good. You love me just the way I am, Doc. Hmm. Don't get off that table until the scan is done. Can I ask what happened? Arm, side, hip, part of my leg. Strain balancing threading across my spine. It's all prosthetics and implants. That's... a lot. Made it through the Krogan Rebellions. Watched my culture disintegrate. Survived centuries as a merc. And all sorts of pirate shenanigans. A thousand years of combat experience. All it took was one idiot with a pack of frag grenades. Ooh. Ouch. It must have been hard. Yeah, it got... pretty bad. I hit some dark moments. Implant rejection after implant rejection. Prosthetics not sinking properly. Everything hurt. A lot. All the time. No purpose to anything. How did you deal with it? I didn't. I fell right into that pit. Almost. But then some shaman shows up, drops the tiniest little baby girl in my lap. This one's dying, he said. Not worth the trouble, he says. Useless is what he meant. How horrible. That's awful. It's practical. Krogan gave me a purpose again. Wasn't just about me anymore, so I got help. Learned how to take care of myself, take care of her. And she took care of me. You found a way to live again. We sure did. Wasn't easy on either of us. I'm old, stuck in my ways, and Cash... Cash has wanted to change everything since she could talk. Raising Cash taught me an important lesson. Sharing is caring? And you're going to tell me all about it, aren't you? Damn right I am. Parents aren't meant to be a goal, or a finish line. We're the starting line. Where you go from there, it's all you. Remember that. Those parts you found welded in the storage room. I recognize them. From where? They belong to the ship's lead designer, Lucille Diawara. She broke her back during construction. But Lucille wouldn't abandon her ship. She converted a construction mech into a rig she could wear. She must have welded it into the hull. Her artist's signature. Not even a broken back could stop her dream. Sam, didn't you find an audio log with Lucille's rig? C can you play it? Sam found my construction gear then. Well done. One of you Pathfinders got the Tempest. Mason Barrow, Zevin Rika, Matriarch Ishara, Alec Ryder. You were the best of us. She's only saying that because she never met me. Take care of my ship and each other. Whatever is in Andromeda, you're the Milky Way to them. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. I never thought I'd hear Lucille's voice again. She really cared about the Pathfinders. Enough to give them her rig. For luck. Lucille made it a part of the Tempest. Let's keep it that way. I'll see to it, Ryder. Thanks. Now let's go make her proud. I would like to welcome our Salarian and Asari pilgrims to the Nexus. 
You've had a long journey, but we're thrilled that your arcs have finally arrived. We ask for patience as we find homes for everyone. To those who doubted the future, the proof stands before you. The Asari and Salarians live, and so does the dream. Ah, there's the hero who made it possible, Pathfinder Rider. Do you have any words for us? I've got news about Kerry. Well, all I gotta say is, dream lives. Like Director Tan said, the dream lives. If we all pull together, this can work. Exactly what I would have said. In fact, I think I did. Yeah, I was we just reiterating in, the meantime, in a better way. Please enjoy whatever comforts the Nexus can offer a weary traveler. Excuse me. You're yeah. the one who saved us. Uh, I guess. I am. Thank you. I don't know what else to say. I, I'd be dead if it weren't for you. We all would. Now we have a future. Yeah, a bright one, hopefully. Also, who's that? Look who is that looking at me from behind? A bright future. You've been through a tough time, but it gets. I'm not better. interested, lady. There's plenty Leave me alone. of good in Helios. I can't wait to find it. Haki, Kerry's producer. I'm the one making you look stunning for the documentary. There's a hitch. Kerry's been arrested for conspiracy to incite unrest. She's in a cell at the militia headquarters. Any chance you could stop by? A visit from you might shake things up. Remember, Kerry's down in the militia cells. She'd probably love a visit. Oh, hey, Ryder. Hakeem said they arrested you over the documentary. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. Well, time for a jailbreak. A crowbar, some gum, a nudge from Sam, and I could get you out. I'm right here, hero. Trust me, this is safer than exile. You know, they've had other people in the cells. Rioters, people crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. Well, you can't give up. Definitely not now, when you're this far. So you're just going to sit there? This is how your work ends? What? No. Hell no. Oh. Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I I'll send word if anything changes. I'm happy to come anytime you want me to. We need to talk about Sam. Dr. Taparo does not approve of how we escaped the cat containment field on the Archon's flagship. By stopping the Pathfinder's heart? No, I do not approve. Relax, Doc. It turned out okay. Dying, even temporarily, is never okay. Ryder, Sam killed you. Yes, he brought you back, but what if he didn't? I cannot learn without the Pathfinder. That would be akin to killing a part of myself. Your lines of code, you can't die. Sam would never hurt me. Thank you, Ryder. <sighs> Look, I'm not against Sam. I'm not against you, Sam. But my job's hard enough without an AI stopping your heart. Even to save your life. All right, I'll find a new party trick. Have Gil teach you three card Monty or something. Lexi, I apologize for any distress I have caused you. <sighs> and I'm sorry for calling you lines of code. You're more than that, even if you don't have cells to prove it. I'm good. You're here. Yeah, so listen. She's only got a minute or two, and she's in rare form today, just to warn you. She's here kick-starting repopulation protocols, reversing the chemical procreation blockers for colonists. Calls it boosting the batter. She's gonna try and get you to do it. What? Um... Okay, I mean, it is her job, so... Not surprised. She can try. That is what she's here to do. The woman takes her job seriously. Hey, if you're cool with it. I mean, make sure, sure I never mind to me. 
No chance I'll ever oops a baby into the world. Am I interrupting no. something? Ah, Jill. About time. This is... Save it. I asked you both to stop by, remember? Ryder? Pleasure. I know we're all very busy, so I have only one question for you. You wanna boost my bet? You wanna know if you can reverse my chemical procreation blocker? You baby. I see my reputation precedes me. The question is... What the hell did you do to him? It's like he's an adult or something. He can even have a mature conversation without it degrading into pot shots. Unless I take it there. What's your secret? <clears throat> Actually, this is an initiative secret. He's an imposter. I sneaked into the stasis pods and switched him with another baby. <laughs> My boy's in good hands. Okay, you're both off the hook. So glad I got to meet you, Ryder. Likewise. Dromos is suited up and ready to host. Ready for the exchange, Pathfinder. Grab your civvies. Going to get hot. This is your surprise? Fucking soccer? How did you do all this? It didn't take much. My ball, flat ground. Hustle would start games at refugee camps. I didn't get it then, but after the attack here and the shit with Varan's rescue, I wanted to try something. Low tech. What do you think? It's a good, it's a good distraction, I guess. It's good to get people's minds off of all the crap we go through. Not just that. I didn't do it to distract them. We don't get distracted. We go head on. When it's life or death, you have to. No one's living or dying because of this. They're here because they want to be. I didn't get how important that is. Maybe that choice is how we stop being outsiders. Check the play! Free kick for charging. No charge for matchmaking. <laughs> what? All right, I'm an asset, Liam. We're lucky to have you. <laughs> you better believe it. You too, Ryder. You're a jerk sometimes, but as Pathfinder, this is because of you. Switch up. Ready to get in the game? To tell the truth, I'm not much of a player. Yeah, me neither. So where's your mystery project? Not far. Soil converter. No remnant terraformer, but it makes sandy dirt into something useful. Eventually. Add seeds, some rain, and you've got a garden. This is a dream, isn't it? That's right. You wanted a garden of your own. Yeah. Of course I remember It'll take that. Years. I might not even see it. But that's okay. Asari think in centuries. Lay a foundation, then step away. Let it grow into something you might never expect. Pathfinder training was my foundation. Gave mm -hmm. me a whole galaxy of directions I could go. Yep. I don't need someone else's plan. Just a good beginning. The first seeds of a garden. One I started with my friend. Do I look dressed for gardening? Should I get my straw hat and overalls for this? <laughs> Never change, Ryder. Okay. Sure. Ready? One, two. Mmm. <laughs> Sand. It's getting everywhere. Sand. God. Ugh. <coughs> Why do we fucking spray it in the air? God damn it. <coughs> Ugh. Jeez. 
as if this planet needs any more sand.